Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of Antimatter Chemistry. And um, today, I was going to do. Let's see. Oh, this. Why doesn't this stay zoomed out? I was going to go into the next thing in chapter three, which was looking at like the vacuum vacuumulator and um, leading up to the machine frame. But then um, it suddenly occurred to me I need to, I wanted to upgrade my Tinker's tools. So I will start on that first and then we'll see how far we get to. So um, with Tinker's Construct you get um, extra ores like Cobalt and Ar Ardite, I think it is. And they are in the nether. So to mine those, because you can't use a diamond pickaxe, you need obsidian because the mining level is cobalt which is in um in the nether let me see what else where's ardite ardite is also cobalt level and for that you need you need obsidian but you'll want you can't just go and make obsidian in a in a an obsidian tool tinker's tool in the crafting table you need to be able, you need to go through the whole process of making the um the tool head and so on i think we did that before let's have a look we did the gear cast oh we haven't made any tool heads or anything like that because everything's been given to us so far okay so i want to make a replacement tool head who do we want to make it for that's accustomed and that's adept for axle rows First of all, I need to repair the head. The head is flint. So let's get some more flint. Do we have any here? No. Are this going to be... Oh, we got some obsidian. If I put obsidian into smeltery, I don't think that melts. That doesn't, that doesn't smelt it down. Let's have a look. Oh, it does. Okay. Well, it does. Okay, that's fine. We can do it that way. Where did I just pull this from? <laughs> there you go. It does smelt it down. Um, let me see. Obsidian pickaxe. All right, for a pickaxe head, I think you need um three ingots all right so let's put the rest of these in because what we don't use we can oh no actually let me take these out and i will leave that in because i will show you how to make obsidian in the smeltery you don't need to make obsidian don't necessarily need to make it the normal way okay how many does that smelt down to and i did turn this off right yes i did all right that is one block so that's nine ingots i think that should be enough all right we need to make a stone pickaxe head cast so one two three i think it uses three two okay even better So we have a stone pickaxe head. We need two pieces of gold to make our cast, the same way that we made the gear cast last time. Uh, two pieces of gold. And if we wait for that to smelt down, we'll take that out. We'll put the axe head in there. Okay, gold smelts a lot faster. Alright, so now we put that down to the bottom so that we can use it. Turn it on. And it eats the... it consumes the the stone. Oh, it doesn't pull that through. Okay. Consumes the stone, which is fine. And so if it uses two ingots, it should use 
two. Okay. So now in here, oh girls. Oh, I had it on my offhand. That's why. I had another rack in my offhand. Okay. So one block came out as two ingots. Okay, that's handy to know. But you can also use... Um, oh, was there anything else we need to replace? Ooh, an iron, an iron head. The hammer head. We can do that. Um, that was given to us. Because then you need obsidian to fix it. And you can get obsidian wherever. And also it will give it more durability. Tool station. No. Stencil table. Hammerhead. That's not in there, right? Nope. And that uses eight. So that means we would need four blocks. Okay, so then we can use, we can do the alternative way of making obsidian. So that's there. Switch that out. Put that in there. Take that out. Um, part builder. And again, we need stone. To make I don't know why I jump on the table okay we need two more gold okay put you in here I think you can make a cast chest as well but I tend to just put everything in my ingot chest all right shove the gold in there and turn that on it will pour out and then we'll have our head cast and then we need I need a bucket and is this done let me not use yep that's done okay let's turn you off so you take your bucket of lava put it up to the faucet and right click and it will go in to your smeltery if you click there you can see you've got one bucket of lava we need four buckets of lava and it is that simple to create obsidian well obviously you have to put water in there but I think that's four buckets four buckets that's right and then we need four buckets of water. Is there no water out here? But it's ba it is really really is that simple. And then if you have a um, a casting basin rather than a casting table, because you can have both, it's just that they didn't want you to make a basin for whatever reason but if you have a casting basin then you can take out blocks of stuff rather than ingots so I could using that I can make more blocks for the smeltery and make it higher by using um, stone putting cobblestone in and smelting it and pouring it out as blocks and it will give me seared brick there you go and now the water has mixed with the lava to make four blocks of obsidian and then that should give us our eight uh, the four blocks is equivalent to eight ingots to make our head for our tool so it's a lot less expensive to um, to repair than using iron because iron is a bit scarce right now and this has a higher a higher durability, high mining level and a higher durability. Actually I'm not sure, I'm, yeah I'm pretty sure it's a higher durability because you can make a modifier using obsidian to make your tool unbreakable but it uses a, it uses a lot of obsidian.
and gold. Okay, that's our obsidian hammerhead. Hold shift for stats. Durability 189. Okay, but I have a diamond on that as well. Yeah. Right, we'll see. We will see about the durability. Because if it's... If it makes it less durable, then I'm pretty sure I can smelt it down again. She says hoping. <laughs> so put that there. Uh, it's slightly less durability, but it's given us... I wish this didn't go all the way over. The mining speed is faster. The attack is slightly more. And it's given us the same amount of modifiers. It's just that the durability is slightly less. But it's still in the thousands, so it, I think it's okay. That's fine. Okay, and also, where is... Alright, we need to fix Axel Rose before we do anything with it. Alright, uh, chemical combiner, flint. We want silicon dioxide. We want two more pieces. Is that silicon dioxide? No. Is that it? Yes. So we want six of those. No, you're not going to because I didn't lock you in. There you go. And I saw a piece of flint somewhere in one of these chests. There you go. Um, tool station. So that's Axel Rose. Oh, it only takes two pieces. Talking about that, let me see. Can you make a piece of flint, like a shard? No. You can't. Okay, because I've discovered that if you have a metal tool, a metal tool head, and you can use nuggets to repair it, so instead of using like two whole nuggets of two whole ingots of iron you can use an ingot and maybe three nuggets and then you you can use that what you can so you can save on your um your in your resources a bit which I didn't know you could do okay so durability 695 it's taken down the durability slightly but it's brought up the mining level okay I'm not complaining because then we can make a better head out of it so axle rose now and um, it's got a uh, wooden tool rods so that make so that repairs it slowly over time it will repair itself slowly over time obsidian pickaxe head which gives us with ups the mining level it's got stone binding Okay, let's change that binding, because we don't need to put in stone anymore. I didn't even realise that's what that's what we had in it. Um, that's this. That's probably what... Okay. Should we make a wooden binding instead? Because that also adds to the ecological. Or we can make... Does this have any iron on it? I don't think it has. If we put iron on it, it will give it um, um, magnetic. Let's make an iron tool binding. Okay, do we have... that's aluminium. Do we have any iron knocking around? Do we have any Fe? Yeah. Let's see how many ingots of iron we can make out of this. Iron, lock that in. Probably about four, right? Okay, and that's fine. Again, what do we what did we want? A binding. We need stone. We probably only need two, I think. 
let's put in two and the binding oh it's one it's even better okay stone binding we need two gold and again you throw that in no that's not what I want I throw in my binding See, that's the beauty of Tinker's, um, Tinker's Construct. You can customise everything, so you mix and match as needed. So the iron will now give it magnetic, so things will be naturally drawn towards you. Oh, I should have put in the iron to smelt. Oh, that's not going to do it. Oh, yeah, makes it a lot faster. We did see the mining speed was up. Even though it's only slight, it's... It's a lot. <laughs> it's enough to make a difference. All right, so you put one in. That is on. Shane, take that out of your offhand. Seriously, out of your offhand. There you go. Shift. Oh, it's okay. So when I, that's... oh, that's control. So shift doesn't let you know what's in there, but control did. No, that's shift. I'm not looking to see where my finger's going. Has that gone through already? That's gone through already. While I was there playing around with it. Okay, so we've made that with our one ingot. We now go to the tool tool station put in our tool put in that oh and that upped the durability that is nice so now we have and it up did it up the mining speed no it didn't oh the pickaxe was quite fast anyway okay all right so that upped the durability so how can we up the durability on this not the durability actually the durability is alright alright let's go to the nether now that I've busy messing around <laughs> let's go you know what I need to make a bow I've never made a tinker's bow because you have to make everything you can't just use did I bring it's my sword All right Bob do your thing <coughs> Right, you're done. No one else is aggroing. Okay. I can hear you out there. I don't know where you are though. Oh, okay, you've you're gone now. No, you're not. I can hear I can't see you on the map, but I can hear you. Okay. Let's have a look out here. I can hear you. Where? That is the most unnerving thing ever. Right, so we've got some cobalt. And we can mine it. We couldn't before, we can now. So then I should be able to make some manulin. There's more cobalt over here. And I went and took out... Oh, I didn't... Yeah, I did take it out. No. Uh, I keep hearing that... Oh. For a minute, I thought... I don't know. I thought it was... I was looking at it sideways. I don't know why. <laughs> I was just totally disorientated. All right, do we have? All right, we've got five. Let's. We got a loot crate. Oh, 
Right, these things don't, they seem to only come in single ores. You're not, you're not really going to get like 10. You'll get one or two. I'm going to have to put some more haste on this, I think. Because, although that might be a disaster. If I put haste on it, then I can't use Vein Miner. Because I will end up just mining out everything. I hear you, Ghast. I don't know where you are, but I can hear you and you're annoying me. But yeah, I need an arrow, a bow and arrow, because I need to kill ghasts. Because that is one of the quests to kill, I think it's kill a hundred ghasts. And it ain't going to happen with me doing, can you still do return to sender? I don't know if you can, but that's not going to happen. Even if you can do it, that's not going to happen with me in that. So we need to make a bow and arrow and then we need to pimp up the bow and arrow so that um, so then you know power shots and smite 150,000 million and that kind of thing you know I mean I may have been exaggerating slightly but you understand what I mean we need something powerful Okay, we've got 19 already. How much Ardite do we have? Nine. All right, let's see. All right, if we get 20 Cobalt, because that would be enough. Oh, we've got some Quartz there as well. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, it kind of flew up towards me. That's the magnetic. Okay, um, we need to get out from in here. All right, how much do we... Oh, we got 18 quarts out of that, not bad. But yeah, so I am going to... I'm beginning to think that Ardite doesn't... Um, It doesn't occur as abundantly as cobalt. Oh, see? There you go. I thought I had my finger off the um the, the button and I didn't. The ore excavator thing. So yeah, that could have been that could have been disastrous. Oh, there's some more cobalt. Yeah, cobalt seems to be more abundant than ardite. What's this? Oh, okay. I'm not complaining. Um. Okay, we'll take a bit more from here. Twenty-one. Let's get a couple more, and then we will go. Otherwise, it's going to be. Shane mining on camera. Yeah, you're not getting dense ores, you're getting a couple here, a couple there. But um, cobalt on Ardite, that only occurs in the nether unless it's been tweaked not to. Uh, glowstone, do we need more glowstone? I don't think we need any right now. Glowstone is quite, um, oh that's the end of our tunnel. Glowstone is quite abundant anyway, so that's not a problem. Alright, 
couple more. It's a bit addictive, this. It's all like, yeah, just one more. Just one more. Just a couple more. All right, I think we have all that we need right now. Let's go back in the tunnel and go back. And then I can always come again. Because the thing is, once I make, once I um, give my tools upgrade with manulin, then um, then well, it depends on what I what I upgrade, what I upgrade with it. Because I think as long as something on it is manulin, it should give me the mining level of manulin. I don't know. Oh crap! Did it again. did expose some some nether quartz though which we really do need okay I'm done I'm done <laughs> I'm so done we have almost a stack of almost a stack of cobalt and just over half a stack of iodite which is fine and I didn't even see how much quartz we have. But we have more than enough for right now. I was also looking at... Um, am I going in the wrong direction? Oh, no, I'm not. I was also looking at upgrading my... Not upgrading, adding to my ME drives. Not ME. Wrong system. Refined storage. And uh, no, where am I going? This way round. I can hear that freaking ghast and I can't see it. It's driving me batty. But yes, I want to um Hello guys. Yeah, I want to upgrade my refined storage system and add some more disk drives. So I need to see um, what I need. I need silicon from nether quartz. Okay, so... Let's put our ingot cast back in. And we will put in our cobalt for now. I'm pretty sure... You can pipe stuff in very simply using a um, a hopper. You might try that. Um, I have hoppers somewhere, like speedy hoppers. Although trying to find those. Um, didn't I have... I'm sure I got one as a... There you go. So if I shift-clicked it to that... The only problem is... Oh yes, we can get the smeltery controller, but it will... It, you have to angle for the correct bit. Okay. Right, controller. Yep, that's going. That's coming out. That's fine. I am not going to put in the Ardite on top because um, I think the two of them were mixed into manulin. And I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to... To make any alloys until I need the alloys. So where is materials in you? Right. So tool materials. All right, cobalt. A durability of seven eighty. Okay. 
and so for each thing you have the durability you have the mining level and so on and then it gives you a, like a uh, a special thing that each thing does so like cobalt will give you speed so it's either lightweight or momentum um, for netherrack you can get ardic ardiculous okay tool works better in hotter environments or hellish it deals bonus damage to non nether mobs so if you made a sword with a netherrack blade it will deal mo it would deal bonus damage to non nether mobs which would you know something you'd want to do and also if you made like the handle as the handle will give you the hellish modifier the the tool knife or whatever you will see it will it will cycle through so you can see exactly that gives you also hellish but then you also have to look at the durability as well so for example you can use nether rack as a handle but then it gives you a durability of minus 150 cobalt gives you a durability of 100 um obsidian that probably gave us a minus durability i didn't even check yeah durability is minus 100 so what i might do then is make the handle out of cobalt and then that will put back in the durability that we lost and also it will give you the um the lightweight modifier which makes it faster uh manulin oh no manulin is okay manulin if we do the handle it gives us more durability and it deals increased damage to targets at full health well we don't really need that ardite yeah ardite will give you minus durability i don't know why for the handle but for the head it gives quite a lot and stonebound the tools mines faster as it wears out but does less damage well we don't need tool bound but manulin is what everybody goes goes for insatiable you deal more damage but also consume consume more and more ma durability hmm i don't know oh copper's good to have on mining tools you get additional xp i'd forgotten about that but it's good to look through the book and see um see what you need electrum shocking okay all right so let's just make is that oh that's thinging out all right there's nothing in there there's 11 co oh. Now it's the hopper controller. All right, so when this is done, then we'll put in the the uh, ardite. I really need to harvest my crops and stuff. They're getting plentiful. But believe it or not, this is the end of the episode. I can't believe that. I thought, yeah, I'll just do this and then we'll do something else. But um, no, that's what we've done this week. We've upgraded our tools, which is good. I might... I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I might up update my other... I might update my sword, at least. Because my sword is... It's got a stone blade so i think i'm going to up, up update the blade to something a bit more durable and something a bit faster and um yeah because stone is not all that brilliant and then next week what we can look at we can get back on track with all of this now but this week we had to do that because i knew i had to upgrade my tools and so on so thanks very much for watching please like comment and subscribe it really helps to grow my channel and i will see you guys in the next episode okay thanks for watching bye bye